So now I'm going to talk about syncing your iPod with iTunes. And when you buy an iPod or you plug your new iPod into your existing iTunes or your computer that has iTunes, it'll walk you through kind of the whole setup process and they make it really easy. Um, I can't show you that because my iPod is already set up, but I'll just show you some general information about syncing it. So it pops up here under devices and then you can see I can toggle and actually look at the stuff that's on it right now. But when you click on the, the iPod right there, you've got these tabs, summary, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, photos, contacts, and games. And here's my summary, name, capacity, software, serial number, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have these options right here. Open iTunes when this iPod is connected. Sync only check songs and videos. Manually manage music and videos. Enable disk use. So you can set these things up how you want. Um, and I'll kind of I'll show you how I have mine set up. So if you wanted to manually uh, manually manage, it wouldn't automatically sync. Or if you wanted to manage by only um, going into your music folder and only using checked songs, it would only sync those. I just have all mine checked. I just leave it like that. And then you can also enable it as a like a hard disk, um, or excuse me, a hard drive by enabling disk use. But I'm not going to have that turned on. And we go to music. So here's the sync music page, and you have the options to you want it. I want it to sync the music, and then I have the option to sync all songs in playlist or selected playlists. If my music library was less gigs than my iPod, I probably would sync all. But since it's more, what I've done is I created a folder and then created a playlist to put in that folder. And I sorted them out by genre. And every time I put a new uh, CD on my computer or download a new CD, I'll just drag it into this playlist. And then, since I have sync music from selected playlist selected, it's only going to put on um, the new stuff that I put into these playlists will sync on my iPod. So that's just how I chose to do my iPod. And I mean, you could do it that way or sync all, something like that. I like to do it like this because sometimes I just like to listen to a genre of music. So when I go to my iPod, these playlists are available and I can do like that. But they're also all on my iPod. So if I go to the all items, whatever, all artists, they'll all be there. So that's up to you. You can also include, uh, choose to include music videos and choose to include album artwork. I have mine turned off because I'm running out of space. And you've got the Movies tab. You'd sync movies. And just like you could sync all or selected, unwatched, or selected movies, these are the things in your Movie tab up here. Same with TV shows. If you want it to sync, turn this on. And then set your options here. Do so, you can do all TV shows or selected TV shows. Um, choose which podcast you want to sync the same way. Check it if you want to sync podcast. And then choose all or choose the one selected ones you want, like right there. And I'm choosing all unplayed. So remember when I showed you podcasts earlier, um, it's only going to put on podcasts the selected ones that have the unplayed options right here. Back. And then you also have photos, and you can sync photos from your from your hard drive. So that's pretty cool if you uh, want to use photos on your iPod. And then you can sync your contacts and sync your iCal calendars as well. And here you have the option to sync your games. So this is just everything you see um, over here for the most part, and you choose what you want on your iPod. So it'll, when you first get an iPod, it's probably going to set all that up for you, but that's just how you go through and manually sync specific things and choose what things you want on and off. And one last thing, down here you'll see um, just your capacity, and you kind of get an idea of what's audio. If there was some video on here, you'd probably see video, but, and then other, and then free space. And to sync it, or just hit sync right here. 
mine auto syncs when it connects and that's probably a good way to set it up but that's uh, what happens when you plug an iPod into iTunes and just some of the different ways that you select what media from iTunes you want on your iPod.